welcome back guys so now this is the third session related to docker docker series so now in this video you can see dockerize java map and a standalone application this is the standalone application i have developed okay i will deploy in the docker using aws what is that aws using aws i will deploy it so now let's uh, first i am going to show you what is that application this is the docker standalone application here some logic is, is there you just uh, adding a two numbers asking at the time of running okay so now let's run this run java application it's okay it's asking first number and 10 okay and 12 12 not to sum of total some two number is okay i need i am over just two number okay now just i am commit this code on github show in explorer okay now come here and show more git and I just commit the code okay is that meta enough target required no these things are not required i think so not required not required but add what is that fixed issue issue commit and push push on this branch <clears throat> i will why because i pushed because i want to get that images right so now just close this one not required okay so now go over uh, AWS account. First, we launch our machine. Step by step, I will uh, paste uh, all these things. Don't worry. AWS, go inside this login. Launch one EC2 machine. Sign in. If you don't have an account, just create an account, guys. Okay. In the some. You do, you can find the better videos out there. Otherwise, I will also just going to start one AWS series. Wait some time. Okay. So now it's done. You go inside the EC2. Okay. Is there a, let's, you can see inside this, any running instance is there? No inside the mumbai reasons i have you can you can change your reason but i want to inside the mumbai go inside the running just display and it launch instance and uh what is that uh, linux machine i want right at amazon linux it's a three tier is eligible t2 micro is sufficient create a key pair Pam or if you pick whatever you want, just like Linux two, I want and create this. Okay, some also D there. Just save it. Okay, perfect. So now go inside, launch. Okay. Ah, you can access this standalone application only inside that uh, particular machine. No, the server is not there. No? So, just um, no, for the demonstrating purpose, I'm showing. Here you can see any running instance is there. No, just refresh well, because it's pending, it's still is pending, pending, pending. Select this, okay, and copy this public IP. It's running. Open mobile XCOM any software you can use this is the client you would say just as such paste this lots of video i have uploaded ec2 hyphen user yeah uh, if you want to see username go inside this and connect 
inside the connect you can see username and public ip is also there oh i will show you how to connect your ec2 with that ssh by using this but not this video i will show you in some other video come back okay now i want to here you can use uh, uh this primary key Linux 2 is there, okay. Just I uh, need to some control C, okay. I will go to your reference purpose. I'm just ec2 user and this and click on okay. copy this. I need to add one thing and paste it here, okay. Here I'm just putting some notes. Connect EC2 with mobile external. Yeah, mobile external. Perfect. So now come now. Now select on OK. Accept. Now it's connected. Yes. Perfect. On this all set. Here. Uh, now and just increase some size. Okay. Now here is there and um, nothing is there. LS hyphen L. No files. Nothing is there. Now see the machine if you want. You name Linux machine is there and clear. Now I want to first install git so install git sudo by em and install git. Why I'm installing git? I need to clone that project from in current my Linux machine. So install that by hit enter. Available on the GitHub, right? So now just alt C for the reference purpose. Copy, copy, uh, come here. Install git for clone your project from GitHub, right? GitHub. Same steps is easy. Why I'm writing here? For your reference purpose, guys. I know each and every point. But I'm making a notes also for you. I will share this note on my group. You can get it. So now here. Now you get the git. Also, if you want to so git. If you want to see, then git hyphen b is I think hyphen b. Now you can the git version 2.3. Now, after that git, you can clone your project. Git clone, go inside this and uh, repository, inside the repository, this is the standalone application is there. Here I have just changed one thing. If you can see inside, I have just entered two number, right? So now go back that, okay just uh, follow this copy this and uh, here git clone shift enter that it now it's git cloning is completed now see just preparing a parallel note for you copy git clone your repository url and this is the cloning is completed 100 percent here you can see 100 percent copy and come here clone your project any project you can. same thing i will teach by using the spring boot as well okay so v and Two size is big. Okay. Now here. See. Now git is completed. Now if you want to see, then here 
which is center so ls hyphen l now one is standalone is directory is coming by because this writing as a directory now just Mm -hmm. Okay, just ls. Okay, now think what app is that? Copy, paste it. Perfect. Add one new page also. Come here and let's see. CD, go inside this folder. CD. A standalone app okay then ls hyphen l okay just go tell the step i am giving all the steps guys okay so don't worry about this on this here. <laughs> here you can see cd change the directory now. Perfect. Here we are changing the directory and ls. Now here you can see get it so many files like target, all these things we get it. But I remove again. I will copy this and uh, uh -huh, here get it. Move to just write something. Move to project folder. Folder. Move to project folder. Right now, inside the project folder, you are. So now, just click one thing. What is that? <laughs> uh, is there any docker file is there right so we need a docker to build it we need to install a docker so how to install a docker inside this sudo wait sudo sudo by m if you are using uh, ubuntu operating system apt apt is there instead of by m okay install maven maven is also required first we install docker java is also required okay by docker is installing okay docker completed let's see docker hyphen v now it's docker is there so now install docker mm -hmm. copy this and uh, where we need go inside this install docker paste it your document okay install docker docker installation is done now here you can check also by using docker v uh, mm -hmm. now you can check by using this copy and paste it also where I paste it yeah this one now add one page for the next operation we stole docker get we required a maven docker uh sudo what is that sudo 
by um, install Maven, right? Yes, install Maven to build a replication. Now that's it. How much beautiful this operating star will show. We install what is that? Maven, na? let's see. Maven hyphen V. No, not okay. Maven hyphen. Wait. Maven hyphen version. Not sugo Maven hyphen version. Oh no. Why it's not showing MBNS? Completed. Installation is completed. Uh, MBN hyphen V. MBN hyphen V. Yes. MBN hyphen V. You can use it to see your version is there. So now just I'm putting sometimes I'm forgetting lots of thing is there in my mind. So that's all. Okay. So copy these things. That's why I am preparing a notes for you as well as me also. Copy and paste. Mm -hmm. First we need to add some text and install maven for build your maven project right what is that command guys paste this and we need to some small asian parts perfect now after the installations go inside this check by using mbn hyphen v Okay, check by using MBN hyphen B. Okay, oh, no. I will check this copy paste. Hmm. Okay. So now, up to this is completed. Maven is completed. And let's see, Java is there in our system or not. What is that beauty of this? Java hyphen B. What is that? Nothing is there, right? Java hyphen version. Okay, spelling mistake, my God. So, <clears throat> let's see. It's installing Java Open JDK 17 in your system. What does this installing? Java 17 is installing. So when you install uh, Maven, it's installed by default Java system because Maven is developing with, you know, using Java. That's why we need a Java to run Maven. So Maven by default is installing Java. This is the beauty of Linux operating systems. So now that's it. Now this is the installation parts we are doing. Okay. Why? Because we are taking much time. We are preparing our notes parallelly for you. That's why. Okay. Otherwise, I can do much as fast for your purpose, for your reference, guys. Because I am teaching for you now. So that's all. Here I am putting note. Check. Check Java. If not install, if not, if not install, please install Java. Agar nahi hai na bhai, to isko install karna padega. Then you can build your application na. Okay, perfect. Now setup is over done. Now here clean. Now just perform a clean operations. Perfect. Okay. Clear. Not clear. Clear. Now everything is clear. Let's see Docker. 
PS, not okay. Pseudo Docker PS. PS means Docker. First, we can see Docker image is there or not. Docker images, images, right? Okay, is Devonet not running? Let's see. Okay, sudo docker system uh, docker status. I think so. Does. <laughs> system status. CTL C dot command docker Google docker it uh, should be running wait 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 I'm just giving it somewhere I put it some commands guys wait wait to start this So now sudo, let's see, sudo uh, system ctl uh, status of docker, let's see, it's disabled, okay, it's, I think it's disabled, now sudo system CTL start docker. Now let's see. It's started or not. Status. Now it's run. Guys, now it's status is run. Let's put it these commands also with you. If you are facing this issue, then put it. Let's see. Perfect. Okay, here you can see uh, sudo system CTL check, uh, not this one, <laughs> no, 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 where, 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 the, here is. this is not the right, this one is right, perfect, system CTL check the status, Okay. Now system CTL is start. Then again you need to check. Then you will get this Docker service application container link. Copy this and go down here. This command also I have put it. Go and check once. Mm -hmm. Paste it here. writing some notes if if you will face this issue use below command okay use below commands what is that issue here uh, just I have run 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 here sudo cannot sudo images like that if we, if we are facing just take one screenshot okay here okay just oh no not taking a screenshot okay mm -hmm. perfect check the docker ps then you will get cannot uh, like that this message is running question mark docker images as well you can see 
like this. Okay. Then you can perform this that operation which I have given in that. Okay. Now image is big, so now small size grid. Now use these commands. If you're facing this issue, use below commands. Okay, perfect. So now here you can see now my application is running. Now do, 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 we need to exit. Control C, press Control C, can exit. And now sudo docker image. Images. Is there any image? No. Sudo docker ps running. None. Just I'm uh, putting these commands. Mm -hmm. Take one screenshot. Mm -hmm. For the image showing for container showing, okay. Mm -hmm. Add for our command like Docker <clears throat> Docker images used to so all images in the docker machine docker machine perfect now next is <coughs> docker ps used to show only running container if you want to use all this in docker ps hyphen a use to show running online it okay running show only running it used to show <coughs> both both like running or stop container I think you understood these three commands. This is the basic commands. Okay. <clears throat> now next is we are going to build here. Build our application. Let's see. We have a Docker file in that GitHub. Go inside the GitHub. Standalone application. Inside this we have Docker file not following the naming convention where we got docker is a small okay so <clears throat> base image is 22 it's good not a big deal now we have a, a target inside the target this is the snapshot jar is there i want to copy this jar into this container location dot like current directory and after that i want to run this application why isn't this let's see how we can perform this so docker build build hyphen t hyphen t means tag name okay now pass the tag name stand alone app all these things should be in a small letter not a capital letter just click on this okay why because sudo is required push the sudo see it's building image is building perfectly now guys image is build completed <clears throat> copy this for your reference purpose alt c where is our command docker build okay so now this is sudo docker build hyphen here this is the important current directory and all these things are responded 
here from here paste it and just little bit small So now here I'm writing some points. Build your image. Build your Docker file. Docker file using Ava. Okay, not a big deal. Build your Docker file using above command like what is that? Docker file using command Docker command CMD. I will put shortcut Docker build hyphen T means tag and app, app standalone app app dot and hit enter now here the t is the tag t is tag right comma and tag name <coughs> tag name should be small later okay and uh, dot is dot is current directory 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 where your docker file is present right so now it's clear to you i think so. So now up to this is completed, guys. Docker image. Let's see. Check the Docker image. Uh, sudo Docker images, not images. Now here you can see the image name is what is that? A standalone app. Latest tag is latest. We get it and name is this and id is this and let's see docker running container is this sudo docker docker running container hyphen a means all okay sudo docker ps hyphen a right is there any command is there any uh running container is there nothing is there okay so now let's run the our uh, image uh, what is the tower image sudo sudo docker image images now docker got it docker run hyphen it why because interactive mode paste that our id or like app name just double click select and shift insert let's see docker run okay Docker, Docker, perfect. Now let's see. Here you get the answer. First, just enter twenty, and second is forty. Here you get sixty output. Now where your application standalone application is running inside that application. It means interactive mode. When you enter this interactive mode, then this output will come. Otherwise, it won't come. Okay. I think we got the clarity. So now, just I'm going to see. Okay. Perfect. So, Docker run right here. 
line i want okay add text interactive mode interactive mode docker it means interactive mode output also you can see like this so copy this and paste it. Run your image, run your image inside side docker container. Docker container not to use Docker run and image image underscore name. That's it. And here IT tag whatever you can process here. Okay, well, because this is the standalone application, that's why I put IT, IT in impacted mode. So now it's clear to you. So just one more thing I want to show you. What is that? Let's see Docker here. Docker PS, sudo Docker PS, sudo Docker PS, hyphen A, all that. Here you can see one is running. Command is Java hyphen jar docker mabin is there created two minute and existed right now is existed. So let's I'm just giving to you for your reference purpose. This is the container ID, just image name and command we have put it and existed. Okay, copy this and paste it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now here, just see. Okay. Now all these things is completed, right? If you want to run again, so run sudo sudo uh, docker hyphen it. Uh, image name is standalone. Not src. Mm -hmm. Shift insert is not working. Image name shift insert this now here. Uh -huh. What is that run is missing? So which is running 40 and 30 70 will come right. Output is coming. Okay. Now I want to remove that image. Now first I want to stop this container. So how stop that container so dog sudo now here you can see right now uh, sudo docker ps sudo docker ps hyphen a now is existed 30 second before is executed right one more container is executed every time one container is Right now, this container is existed. Existed means existed. Existed, right? Container is existed. So now I want to stop this containers, all this containers. System. Useless container is there now. So now, system <laughs> not sudo docker ps uh, docker rm remove hyphen not a hyphen. Uh, ID uh, insert. Let's see. Let's remove it or not. I have now. Now a one is there. How we can multiple also you can do this. Not a big deal. Just space and put multiple IDs. Move now here you can see 
डॉकर सूडो डॉकर पीएस हाइफन ए इज देयर एनी कंटेनर नो सो नाउ जस्ट आई हैव पुट इट फॉर योर रेफरेंस पर्पस कॉपी ओके फर्स्ट बी एंटर डॉकर पीएस टू सी दैट ओके नथिंग इज देयर images of a we get it if any we get it this now i want to remove this here okay just a line to you okay here i need to write some text for this okay right okay size i want like 30 20 is good okay what is that you move the container right okay and i need to change that okay remove the container why is it i didn't now copy this and and notes we are running here okay add one more page paste it to big file small that remove the container that remove that container put that command okay docker okay mm -hmm. docker rm container and id Okay. So now Docker container is removed. Now I want to remove the Docker image. So now sudo sudo Docker image. Now we have an image. Now I want to remove this image. Docker sudo Docker aramai remove image. This is the different command. Okay. <clears throat> rmi and uh, what is that uh, id or you can pass that name also it will work now here you can say sudo docker images now nothing is there here uh -huh. okay docker images okay no my docker images enter one app is there okay so after that this one remove that okay then this will delete it we get it deleted then after three pushes this nothing is there right so just i need some thing here Get text for this remove image okay copy this and change it remove remove image 
again i will not in this uh, series prepare these notes okay okay docker rmi and image name image name or id okay paste this and okay so now it's i think it's completed after you now in no images okay no images uh no images no docker container if you're trying to run your email let's see uh sudo docker run hyphen it whatever is there like uh just insert i think so not nothing is there uh you can check sudo docker images no images sudo docker ps hyphen a or you can pass so now my question is what is that sudo docker ps when we will use if you want to see only running containers so you can use but in the standalone application no running container is there when your application is execute that time only the container will run at that time container will run. okay now docker images show the all images which are present inside the docker uh, by using docker rmi remove that image by using docker rm remove the container okay so next video we will learn more about this okay more practicals how to deploy web application a spring boot web application now we will see the real power of its example a same thing installation or same will happen in that next session so thank you we will meet next session guys uh, please subscribe and share with your friends oh okay you can get these notes i will uh how the notes is look like i will show you wait where is my mouse is not working god hanged i think so okay i will share these notes guys i will share these notes on this group if you can go uh, this group i think so okay 127 members are there join this group requested me and i will approve your request and we will get your notes and enjoy learning uh, thanks thanks we will meet next session